call numbers, decoding, and using them. The University of Michigan Libraries organize many materials by Library of Congress call number. Most U.S. research libraries use this system, which helps you find books arranged by subject on the library shelves and in the online catalog. Here's what a call number looks like in Merlin. This Merlin record gives you lots of important information, including the call number, the UM library which holds the book, and it tells you that the book is on the shelf. You could use Get This to request delivery, or if you want the book right away, you can go to the museum's library and use the call number to find the book on the shelf. In Merlin, the call number is all on one line. On the book, the call number will likely use several lines. Don't worry, it's the same number. Here's how it works. All Library of Congress call numbers start with one or two letters. Each letter stands for a broad subject area. For example, E and F are History of the Americas, P is Language and Literature, and Q is for Science. Each UM library will tell you where to find these call numbers. Libraries usually shelve call numbers in alphabetical order, starting with the one or two letters on the top line. All the Qs will be together on the shelves. After the Qs come the QAs, then the QBs, and so on. QE is for geology. The next part of the call number is a number to narrow the subject area. For this book, Cenozoic Mammals of Africa, the number 881 indicates a specific area of paleozoology. To find this book on the shelf, first find the QEs. Then within the QEs, look at the second line of the call number, going in order until you find 881. If lots of books have call numbers starting with QE 881, look at the third line of the call number, which librarians call the cutter line. This third line has a decimal point, then a letter, then one or more numbers. The letter usually indicates either title or author. For this book, the C is for Cenozoic. On the shelf, look for the letter first, then for the numbers. But this line can be tricky. Remember that decimal point? The number on this line is a decimal number. It's not 46, it's 0.46. That means you will find it on the shelf within all the QE 881s after C4500 and before C5. The last line of this call number, like most Library of Congress call numbers, gives the year of publication, 2010. But sometimes there will be lots of books with the same first three lines of a call number. Then you will see a fourth line with a letter and numbers. If you do, that number will be a decimal too. And if your item has a volume number, that number will get its own line near the end of the call number. Call numbers provide a logical way to organize books and journals by subject to help you browse on the shelves and online through Merlin.